All right, welcome to the jungle, guys. Today, we are going to be diving face first, hopefully not literally, into the world of spitting cobras. And one sneaky snake that's often mistaken for one, the wrinkles. They both spit venom, but don't be fooled. They are very different snakes. Let's break it down and get into it. Okay, so first up, we've got the Mozambican spitting cobra. Okay, now he's it's not spitting us at the... Spitting at us at the moment, he's turning around coming back at me now. But these snakes are quickly becoming the most dangerous snake in southern Africa. They often bite people while they're asleep. So they'll come into houses in search of rodents, things like that, and a lot of them formal settlements. People are still sleeping on mattresses on the ground or on beds that don't really have a base or anything. So these snakes are coming in, trying to find rats, and then crawling through the beds. People roll on top of them and they end up getting bitten. These snakes have got quite a big distribution, not massive though, not like as big as the the puff adder does, but you find them all the way through KwaZulu-Natal into Limpopo and then up a little bit further. But you can see they are absolutely beautiful snakes. He's taking my hook stick away. Bex, let's go down just so I can get my hook stick back from this big guy or girl. I don't actually know what it is. But common identifying features from the top, you can see it's just a brown snake. But at the bottom, and when he spreads his hood up, you can see that nice, beautiful pink, pink, pink belly. So that's a good way of identifying one of these guys. And then obviously the size. Another thing that I noticed with these guys that you don't really see with the, too many of the other brown snakes like this is that each one of the scales almost have like a black outline around them. So if you're looking for some identification marks, that's probably a good way. Now this is a reasonable sized one. They don't get too much bigger than this. But on average, they'll be around a meter, meter and a half. But quite a common snake and very ready to spit. Although we've got quite a well-behaved one here. Now, spitting cobras are true cobras in the Niger genus, and yep, they're just as spicy as they sound. When threatened, they'll flare up that classic cobra hood and pssst, spray that venom directly at your face. It's like snake pepper spray. Now, pay attention also to the pattern that their head moves in. It's in a figure of eight and is aimed directly at your eyes and always deadly, deadly accurate. This gives the snake time to move away while you or the predator that's trying to eat it is still wiping the gunk out of his eyes. All right, now meet the wrinkles, or the ring-necked spitting cobra, which sounds pretty legit, right? Well, here's the plot twist. This is not a true cobra. He is in his own genus known as Hematartus. So all the cobras will be in the genus Naja. That's like being invited to a cobra party, but sitting at your own table. Now, he has all the exact same kind of appendages that a cobra would. He spreads a nice big hood, as you can see there. He's about to spit at me. He spits his venom. But let's have a look at some B-roll slow footage and we'll see exactly how he ejects that venom out. Now you guys can see how differently a wrinkle spits its venom. Unlike the Mozambican spitting cobra, which does that figure of eight movement, you can see the wrinkle will rear up and he throws himself forward and gets his head almost vertical up. So the holes of the fangs are right at the bottom like a normal snake, whereas the spitting cobra has got the holes in the front of the fang. So when he squeezes down on his venom glands, that venom goes down through the fang, hits the bottom of the fang and squirts out the front. Now with the wrinkles, he doesn't have that. So he has to literally get his fangs facing exactly on your eyes. So a much less accurate spit. Okay, so let's do a little quick fire and see what the big differences are between wrinkles and true cobras and why wrinkles haven't been invited to this party. Well, the first one is that wrinkles give birth to live young. Whereas true cobras, well, they lay eggs. The second big difference, which is something that you can see just by looking at the animal, is that wrinkles has got killed or rough scales, whereas your true cobras will always have a smooth scale. Then the final one, which is impossible to just see unless you're a scientist or something, is that they are in two different genuses. True cobras on the genus Naja, whereas your wrinkles on the genus Hemocartus. Okay, now, when a wrinkles is cornered, not only can he spit his venom, but he can also pretend to be dead like he's doing now. We're talking tongue out the mouth, limp body, he even... It's a little bit of a musk up, and my nose is nice and blocked, so I can't smell it as bad. So it makes him smell like he's dead. So he, he's like the ultimate snake actor. He could audition for a play on Broadway, this guy. But we're talking when you roll him over, he'll bring himself back up. There he's alive again. But as soon as we put like a little bit of pressure and poke him, as you can see, he's going to roll over, stick his tongue out, act like he's dead, let off that bad smell. Why does he do that? Because then the predator that comes along that wants to eat live prey smells disgusting smell and sees a dead animal, thinks it's rotten, leaves him off. Once he walks away, wrinkles carries on going where he needs to go. How cool is that? Okay guys, so that's 
our ring counts versus spitting cobra video now as you can see there's a lot of differences but at the end of the day if watch out becca we still got a ring cast out here um, at the end of the day if it stands up spreads the hood and spits at you it's going to be dangerous so you don't really need too much to identify as long as you understand that when something spreads a hood like that and it's spitting at you it means he does have venom okay i hope you guys enjoyed that video please if you got this far on the video like and subscribe at the time of filming we are at 922 subs we are almost at a thousand so make this big allergic snotty nose of mine from these wrinkles be all worth it and let's let this video get us to a thousand We'll see you next time, guys.